With the swiftness of a deadly cosmic ray, the Earth is invaded by indestructible moon monsters. Their ghastly mission, death for all humans. What astounding technical developments are being made to protect mankind? Robot Monster brings you an actual preview of the devastating forces of our future. Unsuspected revelations of incredible horrors that will terrify you with their brutal reality. There is no escape from me. Fool humans, there is no escape. And Robot Monster is kind of notorious insofar as good, bad films from that era go, the Atomic Age. And it was only a 66-minute film, but they really milked that time in ways that made it painful to watch after a while, repeating scenes, uh, showing the Robot Monster wandering through fields endlessly. And the Robot Monster, of course, was just somebody in a gorilla suit wearing a, a space helmet, which was kind of a fishbowl space helmet with a uh, little television antenna sticking up. And judging by the poster, he was supposed to have a skull face, but we just saw that there was some blackened material covering the face, I think, inside the mask. And Robot Monster was uh i guess you can forgive some of the stupidness of the plot line for the fact that it was supposed to be the dream of a kid who was uh had suffered a head injury so that all kind of made sense i guess he fell hit his head on a rock or something and then he dreamed that robot monster had come to town and that he was among six of the final remaining people on earth <clears throat> And, you know, being the only six remaining people on Earth because they were killed by Robot Monsters people, the Roman, uh, they seem pretty casual about their situation. And in fact, a couple of them find time to fall in love and declare that they're going to get married and have a whole ceremony. And then we have to see them making out for a while. And that's when it's really obvious that, OK, they're just trying to fill the time. And we got to see alligators with fins strapped to them to try to make them look like dinosaurs engaged in mortal combat twice. We got to see the same scene of one alligator apparently killing the other just for the amusement of the watching audience. And we had to see that play out a couple of times. I guess Robot Monster was shot in four days on a $16,000 budget, which... $16,000 actually seems a little overinflated for this one because there were like three primary sets or three sets, I think, at all. There was one outdoor set that took that was outside of a house, it looked like, um, but it wasn't really clear. There were those, these fields that we always saw Robot Monster running around in. And then there was in front of the cave. And beyond that, we saw Robot Monster making proclamations on a video screen. And I guess we were supposed to be wowed by those special effects for a while. He fell in love with one of the last women on Earth. So he had a whole a whole kind of like uh, moral quandary about what to do about that. But I guess there were only six people on Earth. He could have just kind of let them go. But instead, he's running around trying to hunt them all down. And I had no idea how he was supposed to have gotten rid of the other however many billion there were back in 1953 but they kind of breezed over that and i mean it's good in parts it's just funny in parts after a while it drags and gets tedious but if you just see the scene where the kid calls him says he looks like a pooped out pinwheel you look like a pooped out pinwheel whatever that's supposed to mean and robot <laughs> monster just responds by saying now i will kill you 
You think, okay, <laughs> this is going to be a quality movie. But it's not. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.